Hi there and welcome back to my channel. My name is Candice Mutakwa. Hello there to my new viewers. Today we are going to be discussing the two popular views on reading. So let's get right into it. Like I said before, there are two popular views on reading. We have the behaviour theory, which is also called the bottom-up approach. And then we have the psycholinguistic theory, which is called the top-down approach. Behaviour theory, or bottom-up approach, links to the learning of children through imitation and modelling. The children are told or can see, and they learn the required behaviour through the social stimuli. The clear focus of the behaviour theory is on the stimuli from the environment that led to the desired behaviour or response. An example of the behaviour theory would be phonics, as phonics teaches readers to associate letters with their sounds. Over here, I have an example of phonics readers that one might use in class. As you can see, that they're pretty simple. Uh, we have frog on a log, Ted in a red bed. These are phonics readers. The psycholinguistic theory or top-down approach linked to the observation that children assign meaning to matters in the world around them. The children in this process follow a problem-solving approach to understand written knowledge. In this theory, the learners use familiar patterns and rhythms of a language as clues to figure out the meaning of an unknown word. Psycholinguistic theorists believe that readers use their knowledge of language and the environment to make sense of what they read. An example of psycholinguistic theory would be the readers that they use that build their vocabulary. I have an example of those readers right here. As you can see, these readers are pretty standard, pretty normal. They're not like the phonics readers because they do not focus just on sounds or syllables. These are just proper books that the children get exposed to. The main difference between these theories are that the behaviorists basically believe that a person learns to read first from learning single letters and sounds of those letters, then single words, then sentences, and finally the meaning of an entire text where psycholinguistics believe that learners already have an understanding of written language and the way it works, and from this the learner can make sense of a printed word. It is important for teachers to use a balanced approach so that the learners are able to benefit and learn from strategies that best suit them individually. Thank you for coming, thank you for watching my video, I hope that it helps you in the future. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me in the comments. And I'll see you next time.